My name is Bailey Glass, and I'll be giving a PowerPoint presentation. All right. So uh, <laughs> this, uh, this presentation is called Bailey Explains Something, and um, it's uh, it doesn't say by Bailey, it just says Bailey. So, <laughs> so today I'll be giving a presentation on really funny things that I've found in my life that are going to make you guys laugh, and you have to laugh, or um, I'm not going to be really happy. So you guys have to laugh, okay? Um, all right. What is it? I, I actually just explained it. I forgot that that slide was in there, so. Right. Um, so, you, you, well, I, you guys already know. Um, um, I'm going to be giving a presentation on really, really funny things you guys are going to find really funny. But I'm a liar. I just lied. Today I'll be giving a presentation over my graphs. You guys remember how I told everyone that I have really cool graphs? Yeah. Yes, you guys remember, that's great. So now, I think I need another round of applause now that I said that it's graphs. And don't worry, it's gonna be really funny too. So don't, yeah, just make sure to laugh after every um, slide, of course. You, well, you guys don't, it's, it's gonna be really funny, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, Oh, uh, I forgot that was there. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, um, thanks for the picture, um, Jacob Mayfield. But um, over here, we have some graphs that I made in my Microsoft <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Uh, so, uh, these, these, this was like two, two nights ago. I was explaining to my good friend, Jacob Mayfield, who was also wearing this shirt with that picture up top, um, that. I was explaining like my graphs to him, but then I realized, oh man, um, this isn't really working because my computer was dead. So I had to make my PowerPoint presentation um, on his computer. <clears throat> but here's like a, a rough uh, draft of what my graphs will be so you guys can get a sneak peek. I know it's really exciting. Um, do you guys remember what you have to do after this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, graph one, or part one. Freezing point depression. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really funny. I know, I know. Uh, but actually, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, seek the Lord. Um, uh, I'm sorry. No, uh, actually, though. No. Uh, okay. So, so this is really cool, guys. So, okay. So here, uh, you, we don't need a pause yet. Thanks. Um, uh, so, we, we don't need laughs yet. Thanks. Um, so, okay. So here are some of the graphs that I did in my in my chemistry class. Chemistry is really cool, guys, so I'm going to tell you guys why chemistry is so cool. <laughs> You're wrong. Um, so, so the experiment that we did is we had um, turret butyl alcohol, which is just like another uh, type of alcohol, and um, we're measuring the freezing point of turret butyl alcohol. And this is just like the first one, the first, okay, so the orange dots, they're supposed to represent um, the freezing point, which I know uh, looks a little weird. But what's really cool about chemistry is so so okay so it's like temperature versus time right so so when when something is freezing the temperature goes down. <laughs> I know you guys might not know that yet, but um, when it's freezing the temperature goes down. But I know that's crazy. Um, but when it's at its freezing point, it actually doesn't move. Like the the the, the temperature doesn't change because all of the, the liquid that's freezing is busy turning into solid while it's at its freezing point. We can't really see that well represented in these graphs because I did the experiment really badly. Um, yeah, what, what two is a little better. Thank you guys, thank you. But we can see it really cool in these graphs. Like this, yo, run one, am I right? Like that's, that's pretty good, right? We can see the freezing point there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, we can see we can see the freeze like it, we can see the okay. So this is actually terpene alcohol in solution with water. Um, but um, I don't know if you, can I go back? Is that something I? Oh yeah, okay. So the freezing point up there is about like 20, 20 ish, three degrees. Uh, run two is about like twenty four. Anyway, it's it's above there. But when we add water, the freezing point. Oh wait, I'm a liar actually. Wait, uh, no, it was actually it was about like twenty. Uh, tw uh, twenty eighteen to twenty. Okay. But when we add water, the freezing point is about 13 degrees. That's weird. That's 
Yeah. Exactly. It's so weird. The freezing point depresses when you add water. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Why? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, here is that same alcohol with an unknown solute that we have. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, um, so we see that the freezing point is also around 13 degrees when we add some sort of weird salt to the mixture. So it's terpeno alcohol and salt, and terpeno alcohol with water, but they have the same freezing point. That's a little weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, cool. yeah, it's weird. It's so weird. Let me tell you why. Oh, this graph doesn't really tell you why, actually. Um, but I'll tell you why. So what's really cool about chemistry is when you add things into a solution, the freezing point is always going to be lower. It's always going to depress. That's pretty cool. But it's actually not dependent on what kind of solution that you, or what kind of solute that you add. So no matter what you put in your alcohol or water, whatever you put in, the freezing point is going to be the same. If you put in the same moles, like the same amount of moles in moles of solute into the solution. That's facts. That is facts. That's so crazy. Like no matter no matter the identification, no matter what you put in, it's gonna be the same. That's crazy. And we can see that in this curve. I didn't have to make this for my class, but I thought I wanted to because it just I just wanted to see it all together. And you can see that. You can see the top line, the top line, that is just pure terpene alcohol. And all of the other lines are water and, and the unknown solute, which actually happen to be cyclohexane, but you guys don't really care about that. But you can see that the freezing point is the same. Whoa. It all depends. Whoa. Whoa. What? Chemistry, man. This is why chemistry is the second coolest thing, second to God. Um, uh, no, that's, that's facts. You, oh, you don't think God is? History is better. Oh, no, no, history. you're definitely wrong about that. You're definitely wrong about that. Uh -huh. Okay, part two. So you guys have to sit through another lecture. I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is, this is cool, guys. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't really remember what I did for these experiments, but the graphs look really cool, guys. Um, as you can see, in run one, or a, for the concentration versus time of B, which is just some random thing, it doesn't really matter. We have a tangent line. Whoa. Uh -oh. Whoa. What's a tangent line? Oh, let me tell you why. A tangent line is, is the this, this slope at a point on a line at a specific time, instantaneously. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Um, so then we have the line. And then we could find the initial cons. Okay, so oh, actually, I do remember. Um, so what happened is we mixed two solutions together, and we were we were calculating the concentration at a specific time because when um, two solutions are mixed together, it goes to equilibrium. So one concentration gets gets lower, one concentration gets higher, and so here we can see the concentration of one. So, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, can, can, okay, give me a second. This is really cool stuff, okay? Um, okay, uh, so there, with the tangent line, we can, using like the first few points, we can calculate the initial concentration, because we don't know what the initial concentration is. And, with the other lines, I don't remember, but um, it looks pretty cool, though. It looks pretty sick. We have, we have an exponential function on the bottom. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So there, there are my graphs. Thanks. Yes, thank you. But I'm sorry, it doesn't stop. So you guys are gonna have to sit through more. Actually, I have some honorable mentions of cool graphs that I have. Um, that, then, then that, that'll be it. I swear. I swear. Um, so we. Okay. So at the at the top of each slide, I'll have like whether the graph is mid or cringe or good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is a graph from my bio lab, and I put like mid kind of cringe, and don't ask me what's going on here because I don't remember. Hey, what's going on here? What's um, what lab this for? Uh, this is this is for biology. What's um, an ACL? Uh, that's table salt. What's that? Um, it was bio one. It was pretty cringe. I won't lie, the labs kind of mid, not as cool as chemistry. That's because chemistry is the best science. What is what is cringe? Huh? Cringe. Okay, so uh, in the graph, I don't know what's happening, but it looks kind of cool. I, well, not really. Um, and then, then we have another bio lab graph, and this is why bio really isn't 
cool because it's just a linear regression and nobody really cares about linear regressions very much. Um, no, you don't. This, this is very, not cringe, very cool. So cool! Yes, it is. Why is it cool? Yes, yes. So from part one, I actually wanted to include, so, so the, the cooling curve for alcohol and water actually turned out to be a very long process there was a lot like we had to take a lot of points because it took forever for this thing to freeze but we can see all of the points there and it looks it makes a really pretty line well yeah we got we even got a horizontal asymptote that's that's pretty sick um oh yeah remember the water alcohol solution run one from part one this is him now yeah. Yeah. What a exactly. He's literally asking. Awesome. Five skip. Okay. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, this. This. <laughs> Get off the stage. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't work. It, it, um, yeah, it didn't work. I don't really have much to say, but like, yeah, it didn't work. It was a table for a really cringe bio lab, but um, I guess copy and paste doesn't really work with Excel tables. I don't know, it didn't, it didn't work, so. I didn't really consider trying harder to figure it out, so I just put that in there. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 This is the last graph, this is the last graph. Uh, it's a Beer's Law plot of, um, I think, I don't, I don't really remember what happened. That's straight facts right there. She's spitting facts right now. Um, but yeah, it was, we're measuring uh, concentration with absorbance value with the spectrophotometer in chemistry class, because chemistry is cool. Um, and then we could find the slope and we could find the molar extinction coefficient. Um, and uh, I, la I labeled it as not bad, slightly cool, but admittedly kind of basic. Beer's law plots are kind of basic. We can all, we can all agree to that, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys get it. And that's it, thanks. Oh wait.